this, poor little orangutan was kept captive in a chicken cage for months, preventing him from growing as he should. This is until an animal rescue found him and whipped him off to get help. You'll never guess what he looks like now. When Sarah's father came home one day with an orangutan as a gift for her, she was over the moon. She had always wanted a pet monkey, and now not only did she have one, but it was also an orange one. She and her friends had often seen these orange monkeys in the jungle near her house. They always seemed so happy and carefree, so she hoped her little booty would be exactly the same. However, they kept them in a wire chicken coop. Sarah's dad was insistent that she never take booty out of the cage. That way, she could stay safe. He only allowed her to feed him once a day. She fed him her favorite treat every time, which was condensed milk. The sweet milky treat was her favorite and she thought it was perfect for the baby monkey. He seemed to enjoy it too. What Sarah couldn't understand though was why Beauty wasn't getting bigger. It seemed that he was going to stay small and huddled in the cage forever at the rate he was growing. But then something happened that changed the course for little Beauty. Someone had tipped off the International Animal Rescue Organization that the family had a pet orangutan. They came into their home and took Booty away without too much of an explanation. They told Sarah's parents that they weren't allowed to keep Booty as a pet because he was an endangered animal. Sarah was very confused, of course, as no one explained the situation to her in words she could understand. The International Animal Rescue were horrified when they first laid eyes on little Booty. The baby orangutan couldn't have been more than a few months old, but its growth had been severely stunted because of the chicken cage he had been kept in. His body showed signs of malnutrition and muscle atrophy. His limbs and body were devoid of muscle mass and were shaped abnormally. He couldn't even sit up when they found him. Not only that, but his coloring was off and he was very underweight. This poor little orangutan had probably been ripped away from his mother only to be sold on the exotic pet trade. This practice is very harmful to baby orangutans, who are extremely dependent on their mothers just like us humans. To top it off, Buddy had not had any nutritional food in so long. He would still be on his mother's milk at that age. Her milk would have been highly nutrient-dense, nothing like the store-bought sweetened pudding he had been fed for so long. Booty's malnourishment was on top of the list to fix, but it wasn't the trickiest thing they had to accomplish. Orangutans like humans are highly social and need to feel safe with their mothers to develop properly. Booty was an orphan at this point, so they needed someone to make him feel safe and secure. That's where his surrogate mother came in. His surrogate was an orangutan mother who had been saved from poachers years prior. She worked at the center as a surrogate mother and older sister to all the rescued orangutans. At first, Booty was not so keen on his surrogate mother. In fact, he tried to stay in small squished areas of the enclosure, most likely those that imitated the tiny space he had been living in for the last few months. His limbs were disproportionate, making it difficult for him to manage, and his lack of muscle mass made it very difficult to move around. He tried to, but was obviously unsure of what to do. But the rescue center volunteers were adamant that they would be able to help Booty overcome the challenges he was facing. Firstly, to address his malnourishment, they put him on a high-nutrient-based diet so that he could get all the vitamins, minerals, and proteins he needed to grow and get healthier. Then they tried to get him to feel safer in bigger environments with comfort. They started with a bigger box and then slowly every couple of days made the box bigger and bigger, ultimately leaving him with a nicely sized box that he could hide in in the enclosure. That way he could hide in it when he got scared without it being so small it would hinder his growth. They then tried to introduce him again to the surrogate mother. She was super sweet to him right from the start. She began picking and grooming his hair and pulling him close to her for cuddles. But he was very confused though. He resisted her attention and need for cuddles as much as he could. It was clear he was unsure of what to think or do. He had clearly not received much, if any, physical contact for the last few months. But after the surrogate managed to get him to her chest, he immediately succumbed to his natural instinct of nuzzling and feeling safer with an elder. Once they managed to get him to bond with his surrogate mother, they could then take the next exciting step. They could start to introduce him to other young orangutans close to him in age. Unfortunately, Buddy's story was not a unique one. The rescue center had rescued many young orangutans from around the world where they had been traded in the exotic pet trade. This was not something they were happy about, but they had to make it work. 
In situations like this, it was advantageous to have a little group going through the same struggles, especially considering how social orangutans are. When Booty first laid his gorgeous eyes on the other young monkeys, everyone could see how intrigued he was by their movement. He stayed partially hidden on the back of his surrogate mother, but he watched as closely as he could, whilst other youngsters placed and bounced around the enclosure. Every day when Booty visited the other youngsters, he got braver and braver, until just a month after being rescued, he finally took a step to join the rowdy play. The other little orangutans were intrigued by their new friend, but it didn't take long to include him. They immediately began to push him around and play. It was beautiful to see considering everything Booty had gone through. Now this playgroup wasn't just a fun group though. Its purpose was much more meaningful than that. In fact, the rescue center's goal was simple. They wanted as many animals as they could to go back into a safe but wild environment where they would thrive as they were meant to. This is where the playgroup came in. These orangutans were all orphaned, leaving them with no parent to teach them about the ways of life. The purpose of the group was like a schooling experience. The little monkeys would all have a session once a day where they were taught how to survive the wild. A volunteer dressed like a big orangutan will walk around the enclosure making nests and foraging. The curious little orangutans would follow the volunteers around, soaking in everything they were doing. That way, they were learning just as they would from their mother. The rescue center wanted to make sure that they could perform all the basic but important tasks that an orangutan would need to survive out in the wild. As time passed, Booty became much more confident and bolder in his play. It was clear that he would benefit greatly from being able to go back into the wild. His social skills and health were improving with each day that passed. His future was starting to look so much better. Soon, his months spent in the chicken cage would be but a distant memory of the past. Eight years later, Booty and his friends were starting to get ready to be released back into the wild where they belong. It was a thrilling time for the center because all their hard work was about to come to light. As for Booty's health, people were shocked to see what he looked like. What started out as a tiny disproportionate orangutan that was severely thin and malnourished soon became a big, handsome tween of an orangutan. Booty was almost unrecognizable. His coat shone a brilliant rich orange and his limbs had all caught up with his body. He had learned how to be more mobile and how to use his body well, swinging around from his long arms wherever he went. Eight years and finally he was looking just as he should have. It just goes to show how uneducated some people are, especially when adopting exotic pets. The International Animal Rescue were extremely grateful that they were able to find Booty when they did. A few days later, he would have been in severe trouble. Now, thanks to the programs the center was connected with, Booty was given the second chance that he really deserved. What a beautiful story. What do you think about the exotic pets trade? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and until next time.